today's video will consist of a giveaway a hair update as usual and a live vlog so we're going to start with the giveaway and the item that I'm going to be giving away in this video is a bag from JustFab.com and in case you're wondering JustFab.com does not have any membership fee to sign up at all and all of their pieces are only $39.95 which is really really great and their shipping is free both ways so this bag is the Tehame bag that I'm going to be giving away today and this bag is really really big I don't know how it's coming off on camera but it's a really nice nudish color with a lot of um, blue and a dark burgundy looking color in the detailing and in the um, beige color which is more nude looks really like a few gold detail also on it and it's really really pretty now of course you can tell the plastic is still on so it's the tag because I didn't take it off and it also comes with a strap in case you want to just wear the bag on your shoulder now it's a really big bag you can do so much with this bag and I actually picked this one out myself. I love it. And I thought of, you know, you guys when I got this bag. And, I was and yes, this bag was sent to me free. And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to do another giveaway for you guys. Just because I got the opportunity to get it free. So I was like, you know what, let me do something nice again for my subscribers. And this one came with a Just Fab dust bag, which I think is really, really nice. I don't know if this is a new thing they're doing. Um, I actually had it upside down, and um, the because the other one did not came with that. And then it also was in this little um, this is like a dust bag too. So the rules for this giveaway, because I don't want to be rambling on and on, um, will be of course you have to be a subscriber to my channel. There's no if or but about that. Um. Please just enter one comment per person. I do not want to see more than one comment from the same person. The reason why I always say one comment per person is because when we have so much comments going on and YouTube tends to consider spam and then next you know my video might be taken down. Also, it gives other people a chance to enter the giveaway. So, it you know, it gives everybody a chance to be able to enter and get a chance to win. So, it is open internationally as usual because I'll be shipping it out to you guys. Also, if you're under the age of 18, please have your parents' permission to join this giveaway. Now, for the giveaway part of, well, what you're going to do in the comment, there's no video, no need for that. I always try to make my um, giveaways really simple. All I want you guys to do is put enter me and I want to put I want you guys to also put one goal that you have set for yourself as a person or one just one goal of something that you've set as for yourself as a person that you're working on and that's basically it now the reason why I thought of that is because there is a goal I personally have set for myself when not pertaining to here is just something for myself and that goal is I started this year on a really good note I mean there were there's been a few bumps in the road but I've really been in a zone where I've been trying to be a better person I'm not saying I'm a bad person but I've just been trying to be a way better person than I, I, I think I am that's just my opinion you know nobody's perfect I have my days but I'm trying not to let the little things get to me I'm trying to live a good and honest life so that's my personal goal like I've just been working on that as a person so I've just shared that with you guys so, um when the giveaway will be ending I'll put it down below in the description bar as always and there'll also be a 25% off coupon for you guys from just fab for your first purchase so let's get on to the hair update now today it's actually the the 18th of july and i am currently 27 weeks post relaxer so that's a good good thing um, i actually washed my hair today today was a co-wash day and i did condition my hair and i co-washed it and then i'm letting it air dry right now as i record this video um the week before when i washed my hair i did a flat iron i actually used heat twice in my hair within this month already which I usually um don't really stress because I just go like I said I, I don't have a heat pass I just do it whenever I feel like because I'll go months sometimes without heat or me I basically um flat iron my hair and then after I flat iron my hair when I had the meet and greet I kind of crimped it so it wasn't on the same day but it was like a couple days apart that I did that and um, I basically got a chance to see what my hair length was like and then afterwards I did a trim which was just it's not even even I just took a few eight, like inches off just because I wanted to have like a neat fuller look and like I mentioned to you guys I am going to cut most of my straight ends off again when this stretch is over just <laughs> 
So that's going to gradually take off most of my relaxed ends and that's going to take me directly to having more full text locks here as I keep going through my hair journey. I'm not going to go crazy and cut all my hair right now as in the sense of cutting it to where my text locks is but I'm going to do it piece by piece. So also I did come to the realization that as a possibility I'm not going to perm my hair before I go to Ghana mainly because I think I can handle it even though I know the climate there might be a little bit different from me being here for such a long time my my hair getting used to but I have confidence that I'm going to do well if I just have you know my same type of motivation here which is when I'm at home I am gonna walk with everything I need just because I like to be prepared I'm gonna walk with conditioner a lot of conditioner the only thing shampoo I might walk with is a clarifying shampoo because I do want to go to the creek and stuff when I get there with my sisters and stuff like that so I will walk with um a clarifying shampoo so that's definitely what I'm going to do I'll update you guys my next update and let you know but I, I honestly feel like I'm not going to end my stretch and just go that way doing a really nice sleek flat iron and um you know I can always style my hair I don't have no problems with that and you know I can style my hair up how I want to and still look cute even though I'm stretching so I will put a picture of my hair like I said of the trim that I did um, besides that I've just been washing my hair regularly and just keeping up with it trying to maintain it and I have been oiling my scalp at night and just adding a little bit of moisturizer to my hair not too much just because I don't want my hair to be weird way down also um, I was so happy to wash my hair today just because of when we um, were out in the meet and greet how my hair was so dry I couldn't wait to be home and just you know give it the moisture it needs so my new grow is really really good I'm having no problems at all with it I do have a few shedding like just like when I grabbed my hair I did have a few pieces of shedding which is not a big deal to me once I don't grab and a chunk full of my hair is coming out I'm good so that's it on that note um when it comes to my hair like I said I just want to update you guys with that on personal life now when it comes to my life um obviously as you guys know I'm preparing for going on vacation which I'm really really happy about I'm believing in a couple of weeks which is really 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 exciting I'm so happy um I'm started started packing in some sense and everybody's like what yeah but I'm a type of person I need to get ready because I need to see like what I'm doing and I have already I have a way like I take pictures of the outfits I put together that way I don't overpack or that way I don't take stuff and don't know what to wear with what so I've already started doing that and also um I don't know it's just been really I'm just really really excited so that's it on the whole trip thing oh I've, as I showed you guys I bought stuff already to take for my vacation besides that personal wise um I wanted to share this with you guys because I you know you guys are like the people I talk to you're like my friend my family um not week last week the week before last week I think I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys but a few cars on my block got broken into and my car was one if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram I did kind of vent it at the time and I kind of took it on just because I was in a really bad mood and I just you know said a lot of things that were really not meant to everyone in the sense like I was speaking to anyone in general but I was just venting and um, my car was one of the cars that got broken into so we got up that morning it was like around five o'clock and our car window was down they basically um broke the lock for my car basically with a screwdriver it's a long story basically how they did it they lift the lock up completely and raise it up so they got into the car and it wasn't just my car it was a few other cars in the block then then like a two or three days later we found out that the dealership not too far from where I live like two blocks away the BMW dealership they actually stole I think two or three cars from the dealership and it was just one of those you know times when I was just really upset because I was saying to myself and you know to my husband it's so sad and that was actually one of my my things that I vented about is that you work so hard as a person as an individual as a couple whatever the case may be and we all want nice things in life or to find things in life whatever you want to call it and then to see that you know someone else greed and covetousness they try to take that from you but with the grace of God all worked out the car is still there we're actually going to get the car taken care of and basically it's covered but I was really upset because I just think that is just evil <laughs> you know like why would you want to take someone's hard-earned work from them you don't know what blood sweat and tears went into them trying to afford the things they do and it was just you know one of those times um 
so yeah besides the whole car thing my husband and i it's most likely when i come back from ghana we are um going to be looking for a house we are we already are it's just not like set in stone like where we well where we want to live we have an idea but just not in a bad area and we've just been looking piece by piece we've been out you know see a few house call a few places stuff like this so i'll update you guys more on that and that's basically my update i don't want to ramble on and on please do enjoy entering the giveaway and like i said one comment per person and i will talk to you guys in my next video